Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, welcome to the show. Now I want you to meet our couple friends, Skylar and Doug. Hi everybody. So before pigeons were used as a messenger to carry out a message to our friends, families and loved ones. Now ladies and gentlemen, relax and enjoy as our five credit friends are going to show us awesome tricks, amazing stunts, guest participation and important environmental message. As this show is all about conservation, education, and entertainment. Now, are you ready to be amazed with our five feather friends? Yeah. All right, that's great. Now, to start with, let me call my partner on the stage, Miss Debbie, to welcome our blue and gold Amigo. Hi, Debbie. Where is Amigo? All right, here you go. Now, Amigo originated from South America and he inhabited the rainforest of Brazil. And did you know that Amigo is a very responsible bird? He wants to see his environment clean. Now, we have here our sample trashes, two empty cans, and a plastic cup. And now, Amigo is going to show us how to clean up this mess. Check this out. We picked up the Coca Cola can and walked all the way. Open the pit, buddy. And drop it inside. Next one, Amigo. We picked up the plastic cup and walked all the way again. Open the beat and jump inside. How about the beer can, Amigo? He fits on the beer can. Walk all the way. Open the beat again. And jump inside. Wow. Now, if no birds can do, why can't we, right? So we cannot stop waste production entirely, but every one of us can make a significant contribution. So think before you bid. It helps save energy and natural resources. It also helps reduce the need for landfill and reduce pollution. Because we here in Cebu so far is strongly believe that cleanliness is next to godliness. Now everyone on Vigo together with his fine friend and friends has something to tell us. What do you want to say, Amigo? Welcome to Cebu Safari's first show. Ladies and gentlemen from the jungle of South America, here comes our flight across. Now here's our twin blue and gold across named Clyde and Carl. And wait, here's more. All right, my back to the stage, my friends. Now we have a channel of seven blue and gold across named and one great big Paco named Rico. So Pacos are very adaptive. Whatever environment they are in, it becomes quite normal for them. Since they were surrounded with many people, they will accept many people. Now their diet, they love to eat a variety of seeds, fruits and vegetables, and they also have a powerful beak that it can crack a hard shell nut. 